Well, it's an amazing place. Really um, extraordinary to see these mountains in all this sunshine, and um, it's, it's, it's wonderful and a great atmosphere. I think it's got to be love of music. Um, that sometimes our profession is very based on personalities, but essentially what we are doing is is pr uh, showing music to to people. And uh, it, so the conductor has to be inside the music. It has to be its service of the music in the end, because uh, really the great composers are are greater than any any uh, one. Uh, musician. So I think we, we have to be trying to show what Beethoven, what Bach, what Schubert uh, was trying to say. I'd love to have uh, seen what Beethoven looked like on the podium. <laughs> I think that would have been quite something. Um, I'm not a... I think that uh, th there are of course great conductors from the past who had great understanding of, of the music. Um, I think Everybody talks about Carlos Kleiber. Um, whether, whether, I think one of the great qualities of him was he wanted to rehearse, um, and he really uh, wanted to get inside the music, and, and, and I think that would have been wonderful. I think what I tried to do um, with my own performing, uh, and, and I hope to encourage in the audience, is, is to have a quality of attention. To, to really paying attention to, to the music. You can have a, a, and it doesn't need to be um, an enormous hall or a small hall or anything, but it's just the fact that the audience is there and on the edge of their seats really sort of wanting to hear the music. Um, this can happen uh, and, and, and that's my ideal audience.